because against the ceiling it looks like a better tone. See, you should just listen to me. Well, yeah, I should just trust you. <laughs> Welcome back to Marshall Remodel. This is the Mad County Build Series. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Emily and this is Paul. All right guys, on today's show, we've been sent three fans, Hunter fans by Hunter Fan Company. We're super excited about it. We've always used these fans in our other remodels and builds and we've always been able to find a fan that fits kind of the design we were trying to go for. So we're super excited they sent us these fans. We're gonna do an install video today. We have three different ones to do. We have one installed in our sun room, son's room already, and we're gonna install two others. Wow. So we'll, we'll get those installed and uh, let you check them out. All right, so we have everything in the box unpacked. This light, or this uh, Hunter fan does not have a light. We didn't want one with it, as we have can lights in the rest of the room. So we just wanted a fan up here to move some air. So we've unboxed it, we have all the parts laid out. We have the all important instruction manual, which gives you pictures and descriptions of all of the parts, which is very helpful. So if you look through this book, it'll tell you and give you a picture of the tools you're gonna need. So before you get started, one thing, um, this is a new construction house. I installed the ceiling boxes so I know they are attached to something structural. That's very important that a ceiling fan be attached to something good and solid. I used two by fours to mount my ceiling fan boxes to and they were screwed into the ceiling joists and trusses. So they're good and solid. So that's step one. The next step is to make sure that the power is off to the circuit that you're working on. All right, so step one is to mount this piece right here. It's got bumpers that sit against the ceiling. It shows using these wood screws to mount it into um, something structural. Like I said before, I mounted my electrical metal electrical box into a two by four. So I've got longer screws that will hold this to my box. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in right now. All right, so we have the ceiling plate mounted, and now we're gonna mount the switch housing and the canopy. So there's three pieces here. We have, that's the part, the bottom holds the blades and um, all your wires that your actual um, fan hooks to. So this piece right here, We'll slide over, wires go through, line the holes up. See there's three holes through here and then there's this additional hole right here. And on this other piece that we have to put on, there's three big holes and a small hole. So you gotta make sure all those are lined up. All right, so we have this piece on here. I forgot to put this ring on, so make sure you put this trim ring on. It slides on there. Then the canopy. We're gonna line our screws up and put them in. All right, we got this whole little piece put together, and now we're going to hang this up there to hook our wires up. And if you can see 
One thing I really like about these fans is there's little hooks here, and then there's hooks on that mounting plate that you can hang this from, which make it much easier to install and try to hold it up there and hook the wires up. So we're gonna go ahead and clip this on there and then get our wires hooked from the fan to the wires going over to our switch. All right, so this fan comes with a receiver and a remote control, which we are opting out of using because we have a switch on the wall, kind of a rheostat switch that will control, control our fan speed. That's just what we like. If you like the uh, remote control, then you can put a toggle switch on, just power on, power off, and then you can run everything off your remote control. This blue wire coming from the fan, we just cap off. I have a 12.3 coming here and the red is what is powered by my fan switch. So I have the red hooked to the black going to the fan and then my two neutrals hooked together. So now um, we should be good to go. All right, so the next step is to install the blades. And one thing Hunter fans always come with is two different options, which almost guarantees that you get to argue with your spouse while installing a fan. So which side would you pick? Um, well, I mean, it's a tough call because um, in this case, both of them are pretty good options. I, I think I would pick the darker one over the lighter one. I was so just it, about ready to say that I'm going oh, towards the light. <laughs> see, so it contrasts the floor. Yeah. Yeah, it does blend in with the, the lighter one blends in with the floor more um, and against the ceiling. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the dark because against the ceiling, it looks like a better tone. Yeah, see, you should just listen to me. Well, yeah, I should just trust you. <laughs> anyway, the next step is to install this. This is pretty simple. Uh, you just take, there's three screws to each one. They come with a little washer and you screw them up to slide them through the little slots and screw them into the corresponding spots. So that's what we're going to get to right now. All right, we completed the fan uh, blades. So now we gotta put the housing on. So the first piece that's gonna go on is this one. So we just gotta get three screws. You can get two started because you can see right there, then you can just kinda do a heck turn. So we're gonna get two started, slide it on there, and then put the third screw in. So these were the two I started. They came, the uh, screws popped through these bigger holes and then you just kind of turn it a little bit and then you can put your third screw in. So now we got to put the next piece on, which is this guy right here. And it's the same thing. We can start all the screws on this one and then pop this up there. It can only go on one way. Hunter, you gotta come see this. Look at the thing.
All right, guys, so I'm just choosing to run my fan off just a real stat switch here. So it's got three levels. We got off, and we got low, medium, and high. So if you want to run the remote, you just want to get a toggle switch, put it in here, and then they actually have a really cool um, like little uh, remote control holder that goes here. Lots of options with these Hunter fans. Um, but this one turned out really nice. And we have one more to install down in our master bedroom. So let's go ahead and go install that. It is All right, we are downstairs in the master bedroom. I have this fan unpacked. And the main difference down here is this, these are actually nine foot ceilings, so this fan will hang down just a little bit. It's got a couple different links that you can use to hang it down. And then I have this switch here that will operate the light and then the fan. This one is a little bit different in the colors. We have that color. And this color, this color is kind of like the barn wood that we're gonna be using right there. And then this is a little bit lighter brown. Hanging this fan was similar to the other one. The mounting bracket was a little bit different, but overall it went smoothly just like the upstairs one. And I will say this about all of the fans that I've hung from Hunter Fan Company. They all come with directions and with each specific direction there is a picture corresponding so as long as you follow the step-by-step -step directions you should have no problem uh, mounting one of these fans All right guys, so that's the second fan that we installed today and overall it went pretty good. I will say that uh, each fan comes with a balancing kit, but I've ran these fans all on high and they seem to be perfectly balanced. So I'll throw these in my ceiling box spare parts box and if I guess if I ever need them, I'll have them. But we're super happy with these. We think they look awesome. They're really affordable. Um, like I said, uh, Hunter Fan Company gave us three. They gave us this one, the one in the loft, and the one in my son's room, and we bought three other fans, and we're really happy with them um, so far. If you guys are looking for ceiling fans, check out Hunter Fan Company. They have a wide uh, selection uh, of fans and options and I don't think you'll be sorry. Uh, it's a great fan for the price. But that will be a wrap for the Hunter fan installation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we will catch you on the next video.